Hey guys, Tim and Adam here, and we want to welcome you back to Flipper Flicks. You guys know how much Tim loves his foods, and he got to try a new one recently called Three Wishes. Yup. Breakfast being my favorite meal, I was excited to try this new cereal out. It's high in protein, low in sugar, and grain free. I thought I saw that Three Wishes is free from wheat, dairy, soy, oats, corn, rice, and peanuts. That's right. It's plant-based and gluten-free certified, made with modern-day clean ingredients like chickpeas, pea protein, and tapioca. Well, that sounds like a feat of food science. One that took two years to develop. Incredible! So what flavor of these three wishes did you devour, Tim? I saw they had cocoa, cinnamon, honey, and unsweetened. I went with cocoa, and it was delicious. With 70% less sugar and as much as eight times the protein of their decadent counterparts, there can't be anything like this on the shelf right now. And there isn't. Three Wishes is now offering our listeners 10% off with the code PODCAST10. So head to their website at www.3wishescereal.com to learn more. We hope you enjoy this episode. There's a great, big, beautiful tomorrow. Shining at the end of every day. There's a great big beautiful tomorrow. And tomorrow's just a dream away. I forget the tune right there. Do, 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 do. I don't even know the song you're singing. <laughs> Sam does. Is from the Disney World. Oh. I don't even yeah. know the song you're singing. Yeah, Disney did a... um. It's a great big beautiful tomorrow. A carousel of progress. That's what it is. It's there the was m- not a war in it though. But I don't even know what song you're singing. <laughs> Tim's on repeat. <laughs> oh no. He got caught in a loop. Oh, this isn't Edge of Tomorrow? Okay. Oh no, yeah. That was actually a decent job. Look that was, yeah, that was. <laughs> Nailed it. Good job, Tim. <laughs> Flew right over my head. <laughs> I'm Adam. Hi. Adam. Oh sh- hi. Howdy. Oh. What did Hi, you get y'all. here? <laughs> uh, I'm Sam, and we're Flipper Flicks. <laughs> oh, shit! What did you get here? Whoa, I, it's so I just arrived. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, yeah. We are a podcast that discusses movies. I would say we review them, but I don't know if that's actually accurate. <laughs> mm, debatable. <laughs> Either way, we are not professional, so. Filibuster. Prove it. See? There you go. But we are on social media. We're on Instagram and Twitter, at Flipperflix. And we post, like, what movies we're watching, or the categories, or fun little polls that I never post the results to because I forget about them. Uh-huh. And then they, like, go like they <laughs> And go then away. I can't get back to them. Yeah. So, like, uh, sometimes I just don't know what y'all say, but I still enjoy looking at it when I have time. And we also have a website where you can request movies for us to review, like this one. It is flipperflicks.wixsite.com slash home. You do need the home to find us, and then you can navigate around to the recommendation page. Uh, We release episodes every Thursday at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on all the normal podcasting platforms. I feel like I got my spiel going here today. (laughs) You got it. Feeling good about it. You're doing well. Keep it up. (laughs) Feeling good on a Thursday. Uh, Some of those podcasting platforms are Spotify, Apple, Google. I don't know. Tell us if you can't find us on one of them and we'll do our darndest to get over there. (laughs) And uh, I guess you could rate us if you wanted to, if you really enjoy the unprofessionalism or the fact that we don't know words, because I don't even know if unprofessional is a word. I wasn't going to say anything, but I also don't know. <laughs> Hearsay. But, you know, we like to not have words. Like, yeah, absolutely. So, you know, it's just all part of the... <laughs> She's working on getting that on a shirt. All part of the shtick. Like and so if you enjoy it, let us know. If you don't, that's cool, too. It's whatevs, you know? <laughs> We're still going to keep going, so yeah. it doesn't matter. <laughs> I know. <laughs> We're going to have a good time, and we, we want you to have a good time with us. That's all that matters. Yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah, I guess, Tim. I guess I'm Tim. And, uh, oh, shit, what you, you guess get you're here? Tim? I, I, I snuck in. You guys didn't even see me. Ooh. Yeah, so again, I'm Tim. Oh, hey, when would you get here? <laughs> oh, my God. We did a little uh, bony bonus episode for you. A bony bonus episode. <laughs> I can't, hold up. Uh, I don't, 
<laughs> Are there the movie boats? just came out. Uh, boat? I don't know. Did I? I didn't say boat. I said bone. There are a lot of bones in this movie. There's a lot of bones. There's also boats. <laughs> a lot of bones and uh, boats. But big and time rows. spoiler alert because this movie literally dropped like yesterday or two days ago or something. I don't remember. Something like within the last week. Yeah. 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 Give it a week or you know whatever. By the time you listen to this, I don't even know time myself. So this will be an interesting one. <laughs> Um, sure. But we watched the Tomorrow War. The Tomorrow War. So if you're a fan War. of Crispy Rat, there you go. <laughs> Here's the synopsis. The synopsy? Synopsy. <laughs> Time travelers arrive from 2051 to deliver an urgent message. 30 years in the future, mankind is losing a war against a deadly alien species. The only hope for survival is for soldiers and civilians to be transported to the future and join the fight. Determined to save the world for his daughter, Dan Forrester teams up with a brilliant scientist and his estranged father to rewrite the planet's fate. Mm, long one. Debatable. debatable. <laughs> <laughs> it is a long one, that's for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Did you rip that right off Amazon? They put a whole paragraph. Oh yeah, hundred percent. Straight off Amazon. <laughs> they need to shorten their yeah. <laughs> their previews. We just want everybody to know that Tim was very excited for this film. I was. Yeah, Tim. Talk about your expectations. Okay. I was excited. <laughs> the uh, end. Yeah. I like God. Crispy Rat. <laughs> I do like Chris Pratt, if they didn't catch that. I, I mean, I, I like him, but he's not, like, one of my favorites. You know, he's good, and he's he's doing a lot of good stuff. So I just was like, sure, yeah, I like watching him. He's good. <laughs> the movie itself uh reminded me of edge of tomorrow which i or live die repeat whatever version depending you on ended what up watched or what yeah where yeah. it was released yeah. whatever isn't it like colonized colonized <laughs> yeah i think so it's like fucking forever long yeah sorry i, I don't even know. no it's it's seriously a long <laughs> yeah anyway different movie but you know whatever kind it feels like the same concept going into it so that's why i bring but it up backwards uh, yeah, the backwards. Like, but like not the the same, but not the same. <laughs> it's almost like people make different rules for time, you know, travel and shit uh, for know. each movie. Anyway, yeah. So I was pumped for this movie. Um, I thought it came out in June, so June second. I was like, yeah, here we go. And I was like, oh, oh no. it's July. All right, cool. Oh, I got another shit. month. That's so I was pumped for this movie for a while while did you go freeze yourself for a while like han solo style so that you could just that would have been the... painful <laughs> probably but otherwise i mean i don't know what else to say i just was i mean i you know waiting for a month at least to watch this movie yeah it was supposed to come out in december oh really yeah Dang. yeah i didn't know that it's, a, but... it's a whole thing yeah that makes sense yeah what about you, Sam? Yeah, what about so, you, Sam? For the end, I kind of feel like this is a more of a joint one. For the entire Sam, yeah, time true. that Tim was pumped, I was like, this movie looks complete like complete Complete opposite. She, she is. Yeah. She is. <laughs> like, I wasn't excited either. Like, okay, and I will say this. I think the trailer does not quite do a great job. And, like, that was all I had seen. Like, I hadn't read about it. I hadn't, like, heard about it. All I did was see the trailer on repeat, and the trailer's fucking terrible. And, like, find every corny line in this film. And splice it together, and the trailer was just, like, terrible. Wait. It was so bad that I was like, I don't even want to, like, try to give this a chance. And then you picked it, and I was like, yes! <laughs> I am so excited! Oh, we're doing a hot so, off the press episode. Wait a episode. second. You, there was cringe, or, like, what'd you say about the the lines? They had oh, certain lines like that were... The, the one cringy line that he says oh. about like being the best or whatever, they just like have that line on repeat for the full trailer. There's, cr- I didn't realize there was cringy lines in this movie, but there's just the one. <laughs> no, there's like, <laughs> I'm just picking it like, I'm just saying. I was like, there was the one line that he was just like, I've got to go fight the war in the future, and I'm like, it's, <laughs> what? And then it's like the one where he's talking about like how you got to be the best, do whatever like other people won't do, and they play that like thirty times in the trailer. Oh, I was like, this is terrible. Gosh. So anywho, so, so it made me want to yeah. like vomit I into actually, the next room. I I actually don't think I watched the trailer. Right. I I, I, I actually yeah. don't think I did because I don't remember like anything like that at all. <laughs> I'm pretty well, sure I didn't watch it. Yeah, I was gonna say good call on that. For sure. Yeah. Adam. It was safer. No, I was doing a joint one with you. Oh, okay. 
you two yeah. were like, this looks like. Yeah, I was not excited. Well, I was excited to discuss it. I was more excited to talk about it than yeah. I was, like, going into the film. Yeah, I was excited because I was like, I am either going to be proved wrong and it's going to be great. You'll eat crow. I love doing that. Or <laughs> it's going to be fucking terrible and we're all going to shit on it and it's going to be great. So I was like, either way, it's going to be great to me. <laughs> <laughs> I do want to reiterate, we watched it on Amazon Prime. Yes, we yes. did. Yes. Do not watch the trailer first. Just dive just right just in. Just go right in if you plan to. <laughs> like, apparently, I La- don't know. <laughs> Last year, back in December, um, Paramount sold it to the to Amazon Prime. Mm-hmm. Not Amazon Prime, just Amazon, I'm guessing. But they sold it for $200 million. $200 mm. million. Dollars. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's high. Yeah, I know. I think they're seeing that um, again. <laughs> yeah. Anyways. <laughs> wait, so, wait. Bloop. They just, like, sold it, like, before sold... anything had happened? Or, no, like, they had, like... 2020. December 2020. So, like, it was done filming and everything? Yeah. They were just, like... We don't feel like releasing this? But Paramount Plus wasn't a thing yet. Oh, uh, So okay. they didn't really have a platform to release it on. Even if they did, I don't think people would watch it. How, outside of my sister, how many people do you know have Paramount Plus? Do I know? Just general question to the public. Oh. Including you, Tim. You're public. Yeah. Oh, Paramount Plus. Uh, yeah. I had it for Yellowstone to binge it for a minute. <laughs> no. And then it was gone, that... but it was free. <laughs> nice. And then my buddy did the same thing. So. So there you go. So nobody keeps it. Right. Except nobody for my hangs sister. tight. And the only reason you would keep it is for the new Spongebob shit. Oh. Not for anything else. Or the old Spongebob shit. Well, she watches Star Trek, so. Uh, oh, is Doctor Who on there, Doctor too? Doctor Who, I think, is on there, too, and she loves that shit. So. Okay, so maybe there's a subsection of the population that's, like, really into those two shows, and they oh, yeah. have it for that. But, yeah. So this movie, The Tomorrow War. Yes. Um, starts off with Chris Pratt being Marky Mark Jr. over here <laughs> being a biology teacher. <laughs> And I'm like, come on. (laughs) I was just laughing so hard when he was talking about photosynthesis and stuff. See, that's – so for me, I think he does a good job, but the whole movie I'm just not sold on him being a biologist. Yeah. (laughs) I think it's just because typecast, whatever. Like he's still an action hero, you know, and stuff in this. But honestly, like – and it's just hard to break. Like I almost believe Marky Mark being it more than him. I don't know why, but – I think that Chris Pratt sold that he was a science, a biologist, biology teacher better. But I think if I were to just throw him up there, I'd be like, Marky Mark, yeah, you're the science teacher this time. Yeah. <laughs> just based off of look. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody else. Sam, what are your thoughts? I like, was waiting we for clearly, it. <laughs> we clearly have opinions on this. I don't know. I mean, I don't think either of them. <laughs> I, no, I, I agree. No, they're both I agree. terrible. I know, I, know. Uh, I don't know. I feel like they did, like, kind of give it more to Marky Mark, though. Like, they basically, I think the reason why Crispy Rat is maybe not so biological is because it's really for, like, a hot second. You know what I mean? Right. And you can kind of tell that's not, like, what he wants to do in the beginning. Yeah, he wants it's to be. It's more of just a, establishing his character than yeah. anything. Yeah. But. Yeah, that he's into science. And I feel like Marky Mark, for some reason, they kept throwing him a bone in the happening about biology. So oh my they God. really, like, rammed it into you. M. Night, M. Night was just like, you know what? Let's have him say the science term here. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Let's have him go through the scientific <laughs> So theory. maybe I would have been more sold if Crispy Rat was thrown around science terms. I don't know. But, yeah. It's possible. He's trying to get a job as a lab technician. Yeah. At the yeah. beginning. And then while watching the World Cup, and they actually put it in the right location. And Sam and I were like, bullshit, I've never seen the World Cup played in the winter. And then I looked it up, and I was like, okay, so it's actually being played in the winter in 2022. <laughs> I ate crow right there. <laughs> I can admit it. <laughs> but during the middle of a so- soccer or football game, football. they just appear. They as in the future. Yep. Yes. I would I would have thought they were aliens. Yeah, you know, I was surprised that was taken so like, yeah, you know what? I believe them. Like right. everybody just believed them. Yeah, that doesn't seem right. That doesn't <laughs> seem right because the guy like if you jump to the end, the the Secretary of Defense is like, I don't believe you. 
After there's pretty clear much, evidence. yeah. Yeah. So like, the fuck. I'm gonna just say it. I didn't understand the premise of this movie from the get go because I was just like, why wouldn't you just try and like prepare for it better? Right. Than sending people to the future to die. Yeah. Um. Yeah. That. I mean, I had some issues with that too. But I think that comes back to like the end of the movie is where they're. That is the overall premise towards the, you know, at the end. Like, that's the idea of having them. But they don't portray that in the beginning. So, to me, this, this I'll bring up this issue I had with the movie. There was a lot, I think, of editing done to where they didn't sit and explain stuff because I think it was already a long movie and they wanted it to be more action-y than anything. So, like, there's a lot of mm-hmm. times when they don't explain stuff. And you do, like, there's a lot of stuff that is very easy to be like, okay, this person's going to be this person later on in the movie or whatever. Stuff like that. Like, it's really easy to predict this movie. Like, that's what a lot of my notes are. It's just predicting it. Oh, yes. And then it it, it just feels like it's edited weird at times where it just, like, goes to something. And you're just like, well, I know that some people would like that explained. And I know they're probably just going to do this right now. Yeah. But it was it just feels weird at times. And I think it's just probably because it was a long-ass movie. But <laughs> Two hours and 20 minutes. They right. had to cover a lot of ground. Yeah. They did. <laughs> Like Miami, the Dominican. Yeah, you're funny. Thanks. <laughs> I think my beef with this film is that, like, there are parts that are just a little bit too unbelievable for me. And I know I always get, like, a little bit too in the weeds here. But, like, <laughs> so I just don't see how people would care. I'm sorry. Sam's going to get real crazy here. But, like,. <sighs> I mean, I get the people that have children, right? Like, clearly, Crispy Rat has an attachment to his child or whatever. But people are really selfish. And, like, if it doesn't affect them in their lifetime, I don't really think that they would care. And so, like, that's maybe where the editing comes into play, Tim. Like, you did kind of see people, like, rioting in against protests. it. But, like, I don't know. I just think the world would kind of, like, end with an apathetic shrug over riots. Yeah, Personally. or they, they, like. they, instead of sending people forward after, especially after, like, the first time, they're like, all these people died. Let's just try to figure out a solution now. Yeah. And right. Yeah. Instead, you know. Also, let's invent stronger weapons. Right. Instead yeah. of giving them. Yeah. Where, where's all this top secret shit that we probably don't know about, like a laser yeah. fucking cannon or some shit that would <laughs> melt <laughs> anything? Like, where is that? I guarantee well, that's a real thing. They created time travel. You're not telling me they got like some pro- <laughs> exactly, they yeah. but they're still using. They don't have like a proton bullets. cannon. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like yeah. that was my thing. Also, well, they did invent infinite rounds in their guns. Yeah, they never had. To <laughs> they never had. No, this movie suffered that big time. Never had to reload. <laughs> yeah, about that. I was wondering if you noticed that. Too. Oh, I hated it. Yep, yep. That was a big point of mine. Good catch. Oh, so. Man. So one of the, you know, those cringy lines that uh, we brought up. I got another one. Uh-oh. We lose the aliens win. Wow. Yeah, that's yeah, kind of how it works, huh? Like, yeah. What? Yeah, I'm, you deduced that yourself? Yeah, you figured that out all by yourself. <laughs> Give a good pat on the back. Yeah. <laughs> good job, mate. I would say that another part that I thought was a little bit ridiculous. Sus? Yeah, was when he, uh... He gets, like, all taken to get drafted, right? And they put his little jump thing in him. And the penalty for tampering with it is imprisonment. So I'm real confused how the jails are not full up with people who just, like, tampered with their jump device. yeah. Versus dying. Like, you're sending people to their death, or they can just, like, be put in jail. Not only that, but you're telling people, like, all these people are presumed to be dead in a, a so yeah. certain amount of time. And you're, like, you're telling them they're going to die, and then you're sending yeah. them to die so it's yeah. like I know. a lot of these they people probably be like mm, yeah i'll take my chances in this timeline yeah <laughs> like, and i i another part in that same like realm of time i guess was like in their first jump when people are getting like zapped up like nobody's like running away i'm yeah like that seems very odd there's it. yeah there should have been somebody there, that there was, was like, a lot of I'm that like <laughs> Okay, so Charlie was a good example. Like, I really liked Charlie. I wish there was more Charlie. Charlie was in this movie. hilarious. He was fantastic. One of the best characters in this movie, by far. Actor, everything. He was a good example of what didn't happen enough. Because he's like, I survived because I hid, right? He yeah. hid. And he came back. He was like, I hid. I was, you know, and you could see it in his face. 
Yeah. Like there was also, there was too much like acceptance and self sacrifice. I feel like no, no. Yeah. Not, that being said, I think people are tough and um, giving certain circumstances are overwhelmingly good. But there was no fight or flight necessarily. There was just all fight. It seemed like, and Charlie was the only yeah. one that had like flight. And it's like you're literally thrusting people into this world where they they've probably never seen violence in their life, and it's just like it didn't make sense to me in a lot of the scenes. And if they had seen violence, it's not alien violence. Yeah. Right. It's not a giant freaking creature that shoots spikes and is going to eat you kind of violence. That would scare – now, that being said, I would gladly volunteer to go fight those things. I, if they had shown me – like, so if they said they're like, they're like aliens that we're fighting in the future, I'd be like, okay, cool. Yeah, I'm down. And if then they showed me a picture of it, I'd be like, oh, yeah, no, for sure. Because I don't know why, but hunting monster-like creatures would be amazing. Like, I don't know. Tim just wants to be a monster, huh? Yeah, yeah. 100%. I would be like, give me, turn me into Geralt, let's go. No, but I, I it, and on another note, it's like, why didn't they have kind of like Edge of Tomorrow where they had like super suits and stuff like that? Why wouldn't you have that kind yeah. of shit? That just doesn't That's make sense. That's my whole thing. Like, they didn't have any new technological advances, but they have time travel. Yeah. I mean, I guess, I don't know. I, I guess that's what they had time to work on. I, I don't yeah. really know how you figure out time travel in the middle of the end of the world all of a sudden. Or if it's already just kind of around. Yeah. I don't know. I would have been one of the ones that would have been like, okay, that's what we're fighting. I'm, I'm glad you're telling me what it is. Instead of letting me go in there blind and then all of a sudden figure out this thing is fast, can do all this shit. Yeah. You know, why would you not tell? I Like, I get it. But, like, with thematically with the movie, it didn't make sense. It, they should have yeah. just told people. It, I would have been I more was down Charlie. with that. Charlie. I was Charlie. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Turn around. Yeah. That, that, that guy. You're a murderer. Oh, my God. <laughs> I I'm so that. sorry. <laughs> I am so sorry. On a scale of 1 to 10 of my nervousness, I'm at a 97. Yeah. Yeah. I know. I love how, like, exactly. He's like, maybe a 98. <laughs> he was so good. He was so good. I was oh, like, Charlie yeah. Was that, that's me in a nutshell with that situation. <laughs> I, I went, I went to Ross. I, that's what I mean. It's just, I don't know. More believable. I went to Ross. I bought this jacket just as like a joke. I thought they were going to give me like tactical stuff. <laughs> <laughs> that was another thing. The dude with the red shirt, I think they literally just gave him a red shirt so he would stick out on scene. I do on too. Screen. Yeah. I, 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 don't, Dorian? I don't understand that. Like I get that it probably doesn't matter what you're wearing <clears throat> against those things, but at the same time, it just doesn't make sense to me that he just randomly has that. I'm like, all right, cool, I guess. I kind of wish they threw on that Hawaiian shirt he had later on. Yeah. Oh, that would have been amazing. <laughs> yeah. Like, he's, like, on vacation. Like, you get that mindset because he, that's his third, um, third. Tour. Tour. Yeah. I was like, third shift? <laughs> no. Oh, wait a second. <laughs> but, oh, real quick, before we go into the future here. I knew for a fact that volcanoes were going to be involved the moment that kid freaked out about volcanoes. Oh, 100%. <laughs> Everything was so foreshadowed so heavily, you could just guess the movie as it went, which kind of sucked. But, you know, it's whatever. It's an action movie, so. Yeah. It's supposed to be a little stretched out, all this stuff. Yeah. And then, like, another thing I had when they were like, yeah, we don't know when they crash landed. I'm like, they fucking have been here for years. Yeah, exactly. It's like, as soon as they're like, we couldn't find a ship, all this stuff. It's like, yeah, they came up from the inside of the earth. Yeah. Something like that. I was like, they're, they've been here forever. Yeah. Yeah, but I don't know. Did you not get those? I kind of liked that. I think it's more likely that, like. I would prefer that they give me those clues. (laughs) Yeah. But it's not like a mystery movie, but like. Yeah, no, not at all. I was just saying I liked that it wasn't just like aliens. Like, no, well, I, I, I didn't dislike it at it all. Was. It was just so <laughs> clearly obvious. But maybe it's just, I mean, yeah. how, what else would everything. it be? Yeah, like what, yeah. what, what, like, what are your options in that situation? Like, would you go Pacific Rim and they're coming from a different dimension? You know, it, it, but like at that time they knew. Uh, it's like, or you have them invading from space. Or they're lab grown, or they're they've been here the whole time. You know, like they crash landed a long, long time ago. Froze. There are only like, like five options. Yeah, yeah. there's, there's exactly. not there's not a lot. I could literally name them all. Yeah. <laughs> it, it's just yeah, you only have so many options, and but that one was just for some reason so glaringly obvious. But again, I was thinking that they might have been. It, it, it was one of two options, right? They crashed like it was in the movie, or mm-hmm. it was something that came from inside the Earth. Like that was only yeah. Only I was two thinking options. Earth creatures. Yeah. I but too. they also they all because to me they weren't sentient enough to have created a spaceship. Oh, yeah, true. that's what was weird to me that's when they first found point. it, and I was like, oh okay. 
like in the Edge of Tomorrow, like Tim brought up, those things were communicating. Like they're they a hive had, mind. They were a hive mind. Yeah. It, it, there it's was clearly a like a hive thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, these things were just savage beasts. And I'm like, I had this feeling that it was going to be like fucking alien with the xenomorphs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's kind of the newer alien route. I don't know. Yeah. I, know, I mean, I know that. I will say I liked. I'm going to keep interrupting you guys, but uh, I liked cool. these aliens. I thought they were cool. I really liked yeah. their design and everything. I loved. I loved the screen time they had. Absolutely loved that. Like it was only a little bit before you actually got to see them. But at the beginning, you're like, "Oh, what is it?" He's like, he's like watching the tentacle up in the. You know, yeah. I was like, "Oh, what's it going to look like?" And then it was doing like the chatter thing, and it actually looked real. I was like, "Oh, I think sweet." <laughs> and there is a scene which I wish they did a little more of. That one of them did seem to be leading. And structuring when they're in the street, it's standing mm -hmm. on a car and it's it's making noises and howling and stuff. And then all of a yeah. sudden they start moving and doing like patterns and stuff. And I was like, oh, I wish there was more of that. Yeah. But it made sense for later on with the female. Anyway. So I agree with you because <laughs> I really did like the stairwell scene. And like, I don't know. I feel like we've talked about this before for sure with Alien. Like, just kind of the suspense of, like, seeing the creature, oh, right? Yes. And, like, yeah. I feel like at the beginning it was, like, timed perfectly. Like, you're on your edge. Like, what does it look like? And then when he has, like, the, the flashlight and it shows, like, its head, you know, and the tail and all that. Like, I thought that was a super sweet scene. I was like, nice. Yeah. So I did think that they did that really well. I also want to say, like, that, that girl, she brought all the boys to the yard, yeah. You know, oh, like all the of them at alien. the end. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. I thought you were talking about Nora for a second. I was like, no. No. The she the, brought all the salt. The coral alien brought all the boys to the yard when they like invaded the laboratory. Like, damn, that's a lot of boys. That's all. I yeah. Just, I I wanted to slide that in earlier, but I didn't want to interrupt you over it. So <laughs> <laughs> my thing with her too is um. I, I just like creature movies and stuff and like learning more about what people come up with and stuff. So I was actually curious about uh, if there was going to be an alpha female or whatever, you know, matriarch, yeah. matriarch kind of system. And then when they said there was a female, I was like, oh, sweet. Are they going to show like the reproductive system for like maybe a foreshadow for something? And I was kind of sad they never did that, even though it was completely unnecessary for this movie and it wouldn't have been needed. Yeah. Maybe they did at some point explain it. But again, cuts. <laughs> Uh, but I was kind of like, oh, I wish they kind of like went in their, their own way of how they did it and why she's got, you know, this toxin stuff doesn't affect her and stuff like that. But um, they didn't fully. But uh, that's OK. It's an action. <laughs> you know, movie. They, did, they didn't have enough time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, definitely not. Dude, they, I don't know. Why? Why do you think he was? So this part bothered me. I had some beef with this. You would think that like he's ex-military. Mm -hmm. He served in Iraq. Mm -hmm. Why was he so far down on the uh, drafty? I was wondering that too. Unless it's pure random. My, I think it was random. And then I also think it had to do with previous tours. Like it had something to do with that. Like previously you fought in a war kind of thing. Yeah. I also thought maybe like because he had a kid, maybe they took people without kids first. I thought they just took people that died. Or yeah. First. Yeah. Maybe people that were closer to their death. It's probably what yeah. they were doing. Like working their way back. Yeah, and then and then at at the end, it like um, old Murray, mm -hmm. Colonel Murray, was just like, yeah, that's why I requested you, and I was like, excuse me, what? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You guys send like a note and be like, yeah, can you bring my dad? Thanks. <laughs> He's a biology teacher. He's real good. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> Yeah, I, I'm not pooping on biology teachers or anything. I just felt like somebody with, like, two or three PhDs is going to have a bit more knowledge about these things. When he's just, like, trying to help her, I'm like, dude, just, you're not, you're going to get in her way. Right. Yeah, but also, there was, like, multiple computers there. Yeah. And, like, it's not that hard for him to pick up a just slide and let the stuff. computer yeah. run it. And then you could have cut the time in half searching for it. Just saying. But then you also, wouldn't have just... all the stress of the time frame and her figuring it <laughs> out. What well, about storyline yeah. and plot? <laughs> Dude, like, they have 168 hours, which I thought would be a better title for the film. Uh, oh. That's pretty good, actually. Yeah. Uh, no, you know, actually, I take that back because then the people will be like, is it another one about the guy cutting his arm off? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. They're like, wait, why is Chris Pratt in this movie? Does he cut his arm off? I bet it's his leg this time. I bet he's just like, he's going to chew through his leg. It's something like that. That would have been my no thought. cave. What's happening? <laughs> yeah. Well, 
<laughs> if you guys think the Tomorrow World title is bad like I do. It's fucking horrible. It's okay. Here are the other one. I, I hated it. <laughs> I it really it was a put like pushed me away from this film. Here are the ones that so Chris Pratt was an executive producer on this film. Okay. And he was like, this is the first time I've ever done it. Here are all the names that we were going through. Okay. <laughs> Generation Alien. No. No. <laughs> World War Alien. No, no, World War A. Generation Gone. No. Horizon White Spike. Uh. Saver, saving Private Ryan Alien. <laughs> this is, this is, this is probably my favorite. That was a joke for sure. Yeah, there's quite a few jokes in here. D- World War Z2, but with A's, not Z's. <laughs> that one. <laughs> that was great. Jurassic Draft. Jurassic Draft. Hero movie brought to you by Verizon. Nice. <laughs> Generation oh. Draft. Miller Genuine Draft. <laughs> City Slickers. City Slickers. Alien Dawn. Rapture Dawn. Apocalypse Dawn. They went through a dawn stage. Yeah. I don't know. Cool. Alien Dawn's not horrible. Hero Dawn. Okay, no, it's getting worse. Destiny War. Saving Tomorrow. I feel like something like Borrowed Time, because they said that like several times, would have been a yeah. good one. Or like limited or on limited time. Or just the year <laughs> that everything yeah. was supposed to happen or end. It's like <laughs> twenty fifty one. Yeah. yeah. Because that kind of fits the theme of uh, the theme of you know movies we've had in the past of world ending yeah, stuff. Twenty twelve or Armageddon. Wait, has that been done? Yeah. <laughs> or uh, what's, I don't what's know the, some of the ones when demons take over the earth. What's the rapture? What if they called it that? Yeah. <laughs> well, you you were thinking World War Z two, but with A's not Z's. Yeah, <laughs> I think that one was that one's great. Winner. Yeah. <laughs> Hear a movie brought to you by Verizon yeah. up there. I don't understand that. <laughs> That's a joke from Jurassic World because they were talking about how they're going to ne- name the next um, dinosaur. Like they were going to give name, sell- they were selling naming rights in the movie. Yeah, like the. Oh, okay, yeah. The Indominus Rex was like brought to you by yeah. Verizon or some yeah. Shit. yeah, it was Verizon, I think. Yeah, <laughs> good stuff. Classic. Like I think Chris Pratt actually says that line. It's been a while since I've seen Jurassic World. Yeah, I haven't seen it in a while. Like a year. I'm ready for the like next one, though. Yeah, I actually have a note. They came from the ground calling it. I paused it. I'm like, it's halfway. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. That was at the point where they were saying it. I'm just going through my notes real quick. A big, we knew it. <laughs> yeah. My notes look like... I feel like I've said them all. <laughs> so one thing I was thinking, like, this was before we knew that... I was already on my, like, I think they're savage beasts and not sentient aliens. Mm-hmm. So I was like, because if they were sentient, they would they were eating through their food supply way too fast. Oh, yeah. yeah. For sure. So I was like, these fuckers are all going to die. And that only further made me believe that they weren't there to Yeah, they were just some kind of, like, planet. predator that had been frozen in time and, yeah, took out the dinosaurs and, you know, that kind yeah. of theme. And they sleep, kind of like Rain of Fire, where all the dragons are, like, starving, and then they sleep for a while, and then life comes back, and then they eat it all again. Uh, Stuff like that. I'm just gonna say, though, they can't take out the gators. (laughs) Yeah, I don't know. I'm (laughs) pro-gator, pro-croc. They're taking over the world. They're kind of related to gators. (laughs) (laughs) They're more closer related. Yeah. (laughs) What's that? You got extra arms? Guess what? Uh, (laughs) I'm thick, boy! Can't exactly. kill me, I'm a 20-footer. And then they just, you know, like, all right, well, we'll go back to sleep. You can have the water. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm going to get back on track. <laughs> what? Why? <laughs> did you guys think of the butterfly effect? Like, at what point did you think the butterfly effect would take in to play? Because, like, I mean, even Endgame and, like, yeah, Avengers Endgame. I was making sure I said the right one. Where they talk about the splits in the paths. Obviously, like, the moment you tell someone they're going to die... That changes everything, yeah. That can easily change everything. Yeah. I think it's yeah, just... Yeah, you agree, Sam? <laughs> yeah, go ahead, Tim. <laughs> I think it just has to do with their own rules. Yeah, I, I mean, think it just has like, to just... Yeah, you have to have your own, own rules, because then you start bringing in stuff like that, like crazy. And and this wasn't purely a time travel movie that makes you think and stuff like that. Like, uh, uh, what's the one with Matthew McConaughey? Interstellar. Interstellar. Yeah, it, it, like that's a pure, you know, that one makes you think about time and all this crap and happening. And Or Butterfly is Effect is more about this. Time. Yeah, this is just the time, even though it's a big piece of it, it's secondary um, still to everything else. It's just a different way to, hey, there's aliens here, we're fighting them. 
I know. Just wait, wait to do that. Uh, I I agree. I I don't. You know, I I agree with their timeline. Is they're saying time's always moving forward. We can't go back like that. Like what? How do they explain it? They said they're on two rafts like and they're going river. forward. You can jump back and forth between the timelines, but they can't go back or forwards. But doesn't make sense. They went back though. Yeah, I don't know. So what it is, it's created a link mm-hmm. during their timeline. Basically, you're always at the front end of your timeline. You're always at the end right. of time. The end of time is your is present. Yep. And basically, they created a link with an alternate universe, mm-hmm. an alternate timeline, and those two timelines are both always at the end of theirs. Right. So that's why, it, but they can link back and forth. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I thought that was a hilarious scene when he's like, "Why Charlie? not just build two more yeah, rafts?" Two more rafts. <laughs> he has yeah. like four fingers up, <laughs> like asking the big questions. <laughs> I know. I mean, Charlie was smart. He but, knew what he was doing, but yeah. yeah, Charlie was probably the best character. And yeah, like right from the beginning, Charlie even had a quote that I loved. I think we're going to be best friends. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's good. And then like, oh, so what's your deal? Uh, it's kind of a long story. Yeah, I was in the military. Yeah, yeah. Not a long story. I guess it was short. Yeah. Yeah, kind of. I don't know. Sam, what? give me one of your notes, girl. Oh, yeah. This was the quote that I liked. Oh. So right before he's like shipping off and he's talking to Who his daughter. He? Oh. He's like, she's like digging in the yard, and they like slice the cable, and he's like, "That's supposed to be very deep." Yeah, because like, that. like <laughs> straight up, when we planted our plants in this yard, we were like, "Oh shit!" Like these cords are like right here. We didn't slice any of them, but we were like, "I was not expecting those to be, be like, that oh, close to the there. surface." Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Huh. So I thought that was relatable. That, that's funny. Yeah. <laughs> that was pretty good. Um, I will say this is a classic action movie and stuff, so there's things that are over the top. But I still had issues with the no reloading and, like, <laughs> the, the explosions the weapons... never freaking hurt them. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> you telling me in the beginning when they're escaping that explosion that, you know, they clear... They get away from the red smoke. Oh, look, you cleared the red smoke. You're safe. And then they... Get, no, that would kill them all. <laughs> like, yeah. they no, would no, all be no, no. dead See... from the concussion. Like, I don't know. Like, when you pass through time, you become flame retarded. Whoa. Oh. Not even flame retarded. Just like your body Explosive. can take cons- concussion, concussive blows easier. Concussion proof. Yeah, there you go. I mean, those fuckers all fell from the sky. And yeah, that was weird too. Yeah, we're going right back to the very first scene now. <laughs> yeah, or they're just like dropping in, and he like lands in a wire. I was like, okay, maybe like that's, but you'd still be like hitting cement after a while when it comes to I water. I know, and I was like, that water's got to be deeper. Yeah, yeah. And then a lot of people did actually get hurt because <laughs> they a lot fell of them died. further. Yeah. And some of the ones next to the pool seemed like they actually did get hurt, but it's like there's nothing like slowing them down. Like, how did they not reach terminal velocity by then? Like, I don't know. Yeah. yeah. And then when they come back, like, they jump back from their first <laughs> just fall. Like, they all fall on the concrete. Like, you guys didn't prep them? Like, put some right. mattresses what the down hell? or some shit? Like, you know they're coming back yeah. at some point. Rude. Dude, what if they put a trampoline down? Yeah, and, like, just shot they... right back up. <laughs> <laughs> was like, they just, like, bounce back into time. <laughs> Round oh, two. Fucking shit. No. Yeah, immediate. <laughs> and all that gets left is when he, uh... When when Dan drops down, he just accidentally drops the little green vial, and he gets sucked mm. back in and gets killed with his daughter. <gasps> oh Whoops. man, that's that'd be rough. <laughs> I know. Also, why didn't they have an override button on those goddamn telepath like porter things? Like, oh, we got the vial. Let's teleport back. Yeah. Beep. Why would they? Why are they oh, constrained yeah. by that? But. I don't know. Come on, damn it. They had more time to figure this out. They could have made it flawless. Yeah. Oh. These people in the future. <laughs> and then I'm like, okay, cool. We made it to the end. End of the movie. We made it back in time. And then I'm like, there's still like 30 fucking minutes left in this movie. Well, yeah. You got to watch him try to like fix Go it Go to all. Siberia? Yeah. Yeah. Which I did like the Siberia scenes because I liked the creativity. Well, just in general, I liked the creativity with hitting the monsters. Like at one point they run helicopters into them. And then in Siberia, they run, like, the snowmobile into it. I'm like, nice. Oh, and then the dude's got, like, the chain. The chainsaw, yeah. The saw. (laughs) Yeah. I just really liked that they just, like, nailed it with a snowmobile. I was, like, solid. Yeah, when he got back, and I was like, Charlie? I mean, not Charlie. Dan hasn't really talked to his dad yet. I'm like... See, that felt weird, too. That felt forced? Yeah, because... And again, maybe that was, like, the editing that Tim was talking about, where they tried to cover too many bases, but, like... 
you kind of had it like poopy doop at the beginning and then poopy doop at the end. Like it didn't, I don't know. It felt weird and unnecessary to me. Yeah. Did anybody else get the 10 self sacrifices done by like three people because they kept getting saved? No, did anybody else notice that? No. <laughs> everybody kept being like, I'll say, I'll do, I'll do this. I'll save everybody. And then they'll get tackled away and saved. <laughs> yeah, it, it happens a lot. It's one of those movies, uh, plot armor. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Which I think they could have fared to lose some more characters, which I, I'm, you know, I, it sounds bad, I guess, but I'm glad the daughter did die because it's like, that was, they, they did a good job of being like, like heart wrenching or tear jerking, you know, like that wasn't yeah. bad at all. And I will say that's almost entirely because that chick fucking carried this movie. <laughs> I did. thought she was, her and Charlie were like top notch, like Chris Rat, He's good. I like him. He did his thing. He did his thing. But their performances, I think, were just a little bit higher and better, and they carried the movie. I don't think he did anything wrong or anything. It's just they were just so good. <laughs> that being said, J.K. Simmons, every time he was on the screen, he just killed it. Yeah. I love him. True. Yeah, yeah. No, he, he is amazing. <laughs> and that beard. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> that, was, that, was, that was flawless. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah was conspiracy, that conspiracy Santa, Santa side. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. Good one, Sam. <laughs> <laughs> I I just loved it when he like baited yeah. the, the mother, oh, the yeah. female one. I was like, Classic, yeah. damn, <laughs> dumbass. <laughs> uh, Sam, do you have any more notes? Yes, you do. Yeah, I do. <gasps> I was saying, jokes on you guys. I actually like veggie lasagna. That was the only food option they had in the future, and I was like, yeah. ha, I'd be great Gross. at this. Gross. <laughs> Get out of here. I knew that would be your I response. Think I, Get out of here. <laughs> I think I made the joke to Sam. Vegetables are what it. my food eats. <laughs> <laughs> and then the only other thing I had was just a question for you guys. So Martin's subject was volcanoes. If you had a subject that you would have to save the world based on, what would it be? Math? Oh, that makes sense for you. <laughs> <laughs> that does make sense. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, uh... <laughs> I don't know. I forgot uh, that you were I, I'm good thinking at that. like like I'm pretty good under pressure, uh, but I almost want to be like something mechanical, like something to do, not like building or anything, but like crash course. Give me like a c- cool spaceship or something, like okay, a I crash do course. Driving for Jim. Just, yeah, like something like driving or you know piloting or whatever. Just give me a crash course on something and uh, let me have at it, and I think I would pick up on it quick and something like that like give me give me give me a mech suit there you go i would i would be all about that but nice you yeah, guys this is so much more useful i was like <laughs> disney movies i could save the world if it was about disney oh, movies no <laughs> sam could save the world if she had to talk about subsidiary companies and parent companies <laughs> and being like png owns all these fuckers unilever owns all these fuckers yeah. she somebody will name an off-brand bitch she'll be like that's oh it's all yeah no, it's all owned by R&B, like five right, ten right, different right, companies back. everything is yeah yeah, so that if seems there's like a, weird if there's a if there's a corporate scheme going on, I got your back. Mm. I can figure that out <laughs> for you. That's it. That's it. <laughs> and on that note, <laughs> fair enough. That makes sense. That makes sense. Tim, you got anything else? No. That was all it. right. Let's ah. <laughs> <laughs> let's get to the cast. No, don't wanna. Okay. Don't wanna. So, oh gosh. <laughs> the critics gave this. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, Dan Forrester was played by Chris Pratt. Crispy Pratt. Wait, what? So I was reading. Somebody online said that they think that this movie is how Andy in Parks and Rec would believe, like an action movie, like a sci-fi. That's pretty timeline. good. <laughs> the movie would play out if he was it's, the main character. It's a little too fleshed out. I think it would be more broken yeah. up and like. Just, I don't know, just combobulated. <laughs> but yeah, I agree. That's pretty good. That's a good one. Yeah. Um, he's in Guardians of the Galaxy as well. Jurassic World, the Lego movie. Onward. Wanted. He gets hit in the face by... Um, Star-Lord gets hit in the face by Professor X. Mm-hmm. Um, I didn't know he was in Wanted. Yeah, he gets slapped yeah, in the in face like by a keyboard. Scene. And, and it, it spells out, fuck, fuck you. you. <laughs> <laughs> it's great. Yeah. Colonel Murray Forrester was played by Yvonne... Stravowski, Stravowski, I don't know how to say her last name, mm-hmm. Ski. Uh, she is in The Handmaiden's Tale. Ah. Is that where you know her from? I, yeah. I was like, oh, she looks so familiar, but I didn't know who she was. Uh, she's also in Chuck and the Predator. 
Nice. Uh, James Forrester is played by J.K. Simmons. He's in Whiplash. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> so if you ever need some free anxiety problems, go watch Whiplash. Oh my god, I love Whiplash. Whiplash. He's, yeah, it's about so drumming. Good. I'll make you watch it. It's so good. Okay. It fair. It gives me a lot of anxiety. <laughs> um, <laughs> he's also Jay Jameson in Spider Man, and yeah. he is Jay Jameson. I don't care what anybody else says. It's like IRL. Yeah, that that's what I. It's the only person who I think. They don't ever try and recast the character in the new movies. Yeah, he does really well with it. Um, he's also in a new show on Amazon Prime called Invincible. Oh. Tim, I feel like that's up your alley. It's a superhero TV show that's vulgar. <laughs> it, what's it on? Hulu? Amazon. I've never Invincible. Heard. Oh, there's Good a shitload of going on. <laughs> Tim's like BRB. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah uh, that they- sounds like the boys, and I'm in. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, people say it's better than the boys. Oh my goodness! I I have to check it out then. <laughs> yeah, well, it's animated, so it's got it. Oh. They can play with it a little different. Yeah, but you're not anti-animation, so that's fine. Yeah. Oh, I have seen all... stuff about this. Okay. Yeah, that's where all these memes come from. Oh, the memes. Add that to my list, right? <laughs> yeah, he's also in Oz. The TV show. Didn't know that. He's also the State Farm guy. And yeah. I hate that he's known as the State Farm guy. <laughs> uh, Emmy Forrester is played by Betty Gilpin. I almost said it backwards. Because <laughs> I was like, that name looks fake. She <laughs> is the main girl in The Hunt. Ah, uh, I knew she looked familiar too. And I was like, don't know. Next. <laughs> yeah. She's also in Glow and Stuber. Now, Tim, if you ever want to piss Sam off and pick a movie that she's going to absolutely despise... It's Stuber. Yeah, but I like Dinesh. Yeah, but... Not that much. Not that much. Not enough to carry a movie. (laughs) Yeah, exactly. (laughs) Uh, Charlie is played by Sam Richardson, and Tim's going to want to write this one down, too. Werewolves Within. Oh, I'm already waiting to watch that movie. I suggested that for one and then realized it wasn't out. (laughs) When we watched... Oh, uh, you did, yeah. Yeah, 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 Wolf of Snow Hollow, yeah. I actually had this conversation with some other people like a couple of days ago. It's really strange, but <laughs> then Sam, we're gonna see him in Promising Young Woman. Noise. Then he's also a character in Veep. Nice. Dorian is played by Edwin Hodge. He's in The Purge, Mayans MC, and Bumblebee. I thought Bumblebee? maybe he would have been. Yeah, you know, like that um, Transformers movie. Oh yeah. I didn't watch that. <laughs> Suddenly not <laughs> excited again. <laughs> yeah, pass. Yeah. <laughs> Nora is played by Mary Lynn Rajskub. She is Gail the Snail in Sunny. Mm, so good. <laughs> She's in Little Miss Sunshine in 24. Salt the Snail, Salt the Snail. <laughs> uh, Lieutenant Hart, she was the one that like let, she's the like first person to walk yeah, out. Yeah, gotcha. Like, yeah. She's a, she is played by Jasmine Matthews. She's in Sweet Bitter, The Rookie, and Heathers. Mm. I've never seen her I before. thought I had seen her before, but I guess not. Yeah, she's only been in six things. And then Young Murray is probably one of the most active actors out of all of these people. Dang! She is in Black Widow. Look at her. She's in It Chapter 2 in Art of Racing in the Rain. Nice. I feel like if you're like a good child actor, you You get cast for everything. Literally everything, yeah. I'm okay with that. Yeah. The director is Chris McKay, and I told Sam at the beginning of this movie... That she would know his movies. Oh. He directed Moral Oral. Well, that's a TV show. <laughs> okay. He's directed the Lego movie. Nice. The Lego movie 2. Lego Batman movie. Lego movie Ninjago. <laughs> Lego Batman movie 2. So he likes Legos. Mm, interesting. Yeah. I've never watched any And the Lego Tomorrow movie. War. What? Oh. I'm sorry. Did you say you hadn't watched any of the Lego Any of them. Movies? I refuse. I'm not going to watch <laughs> those movies. <laughs> Dude, they are so good. No, no, no. I refuse to believe that. I'm not watching those movies. Will Arnett is amazing as Batman. You're watching them. Sorry about your luck. I'll pick one of them. (laughs) Um, Okay, so the critics for this movie gave it a 55%. Audience gave it an 81%. (laughs) IMDb gave it a 6.7 out of 10. (laughs) Where was your noise for that one, Sam? I don't know. You got me self-conscious. And then Google doesn't have ratings yet. Wah, so, wah. too soon. Wah, 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 wah. Um, so, Tim, as the most excited of the bunch, we're going to start with Sam. 
Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Um, okay, so clearly I had my beef with this movie. That being said. That being said, folks. I really enjoyed it and I didn't really feel I didn't feel like it drug to me. Like I know it was a long movie, but it was one of the few long movies that I didn't think was like, oh my god, let me pause long. it and take five breaks. Like I was like into it. Um and I don't know, I guess that's probably because I like alien movies. So if they would just change the name, I would be, like, totally on board with it. <laughs> but I'm going to still flip it on. Tim? Yeah, so I know I did have a lot of beef parts with this movie. And I think and they're they're all justified, but they're also just things that other action movies suffer from because it's an action movie. I don't know. I don't understand the hate for the title. Yeah, it's like a, a curse of being an action movie. Yeah, exactly. Like, there's going to be some things like that that are a little beyond reality or whatever. And, um, I mean, obviously, we don't have time travel. Well, <laughs> who knows we have time travel. But on a mass scale, I mean, that's already rips you out of the universe that we live in. It's a completely different yeah. universe at that point. So, no, I actually really enjoyed this movie. I liked it a lot. I, even the length of it, I had to pause it halfway through to go do something, and I was upset. <laughs> Uh, oh, no. I wanted to sit down and watch it because I didn't want to get up. I actually wanted to watch this movie a lot. And the entire time it had me, I think it did a better job of being somewhat of a tearjerker at times for, for an action movie. And uh, I, I think it's well worth the watch. Uh, the hate that it gets is whatever. Turn your brain off and watch the damn movie. <laughs> you know, people have their opinions. And if you're not an action person, you're not going to like an action movie. It's just pure and simple. I think that's where most of the hate for this movie comes from that I've heard. So, yeah, long, long story long. Flip it on for sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay okay nice. adam i too would flip it on and i want to fucking reiterate turn your goddamn brain off yeah <laughs> the <laughs> moment you start overthinking you're going to like just start picking it apart yeah there's, like, there's no reason for that yeah it's an action movie it's a popcorn flick Grab your popcorn, grab your 45 million ounce Coke, Cola. <laughs> Got to re- make sure I finish that statement because it's a lot of Coke otherwise. Um, <laughs> you'd have a blast then. Um, <laughs> anyways, I do not advocate that. Um, <laughs> you're I'm just, just going to cut all you're of you're this. Just I'm just going to further down the hole. that hole. Yeah. You I'm just cutting all of Keep riding that hole. <laughs> Oh gosh. Um, yeah, just turn off your brain, watch this film. Uh, it's fun. <laughs> there there are cringy lines, but like Tim said, it's an action movie. You're you're guaranteed that. I find that most scripts these days have cringy there's, lines. There's a lot of it, yeah. You can't yeah. really get around it, can you? <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean sometimes it's the delivery that too. too. Like but when you say uh, we lose the aliens win, I don't think there's any way to make that sound not cringy. Yeah. So, yeah, if you guys got some spare time out there, we don't have to spin because this is a bonus episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, Go catch uh, World War Z 2, but with A's, not Z's, (laughs) on Amazon Prime. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it.